boom, it's a big day today. We've got the woman's drop coming up. I'm going shopping because it's my girlfriend's birthday in less than a week. And I've decided to make an adventure out of today. She's gone out of town with her friends. So I'm hitting up 10 dead sock stations and you're coming along for the ride. As you can see here, the dead sock stations in my town have now refreshed, they're ready to use. I'm gonna hit them up first and then we're heading into Manchester. I've got my spare battery for the camera. I've got my laptop so that I can fill in my spreadsheet and I've given Dave my number so he can bell me if the drop happens while I'm driving. Agla app has the number one support team, trust. Does anyone else have a spider that lives in their wing mirror or is it just me? I come out every morning. I've just got this. Let's see. Hi. So my guess, the plan for today is going to be King DS first, Queen DS second, then the drop then shopping, then the other eight dead stock stations. Once again, thank you Dave for allowing me to not have announcements on the Discord open up here, because that is not safe. I'm just at King DS now, as you can see, same location before, just round the corner. I was just wondering if any of you guys listen to podcasts and what podcasts you listen to. This is Under the Cosh, it's like UK footballers telling stories about their careers, it's really interesting. And I'll tell you now, they got up to some wild stuff. Just hit the stash. Open the stash, I'm guessing it, yep, dry. But now, we should be just about to hit. There we go, the check-in, tier one, here we go. I think the first ones I'm gonna do are the off-white Jordan ones, so let's rock them now and get them repaired. Make them shiny, yes please. Back to the car, we got a long day. I don't really know what I'm gonna repair at a tier two because my tier ones that I'm repairing are probably gonna last me a couple of weeks. I've repaired these Dior's all the way through. I've repaired both my Wutherspoons recently and they're not at a good enough level to dead stock yet. I could repair some of these Belugas. I could repair the autographs. It could be the Salmon Toes, I'm not too sure. We'll have to see. Well, I was just about to record, but we have a 10 minute warning for the drop. So do I hang about here for 10 minutes or do I just drive a little bit more? I don't really know anywhere to pull up. Hmm. Either way, we're at Queen DS. It's gonna have to be these, isn't it? Repair them now. Yes, please. We appear to have a little bug. Make them shiny. Come on, make them shiny. Make them shiny. What you doing, man? What you doing? Make them shiny. Make them shiny make them shiny make them shiny make them shiny this isn't working why isn't it working i'm just gonna have to close it up aren't i check in i've checked in yes repair now make them shiny there we go if you're having issues close the app open it back up again should work fine we have one more repair on these it appears i am wanted i shall join i need king nile m to intense math these earn rates come do your thing King, they want me. Hello. I am here. Dave, you sent that message out a little bit early. The only shoes I'm after from this drop are the Woodwood, so that's what I'm going to be searching for. I've got the names of all the shoes in my spreadsheet ready to type up as soon as this drop happens. I'm just going to go for number one on these Woodwoods. Hopefully I get it. If I don't, I don't. I'm probably not going to. There's too many players now. Hopefully I was fast enough on them to get number one. I feel like I was. There wasn't much lag. Okay, for some reason it's not telling me what number I am. There we go, number one of 70, 75, ooh. Some guy's just pulled up in front of me wondering what the hell I'm doing with a camera strapped to my steering wheel. He's just staring at me now. All right, it's time for me to work everything out. So I was sat here on my laptop just working everything out and I realized the Fenties are the best shoe to be getting. When dead stocking, the Fenty slides are about as good as the origin stories were from last shop. Now I didn't have enough aglet to buy them so I've gone and done laps of this place. I now have enough to buy them just before I think they're gonna sell out. Yes, I'd like to cop them. Let's see what number they're on. 42 out of 88. These are the best shoes you can be copying. They're probably gonna be sold out by the end of the day. Now, as you can see here, tier three sneaker shine is actually sold out. If you happen to have sneaker shine lay about, go for the Fenty slides. You will earn lots of profit. Hi, I'm just jumping in here from the future. I didn't realize earlier, but I've realized now that I messed up and I didn't actually include the cost of sneaker shine in my workings for the sneaker shine methods. So wait until the end where I'm gonna do an actual full on review of the shop drop because I messed up. Yep. Cool, cheers, thank you. Granted, when this video goes up, because I'm so busy at the moment, they will probably be sold out. If your budget's quite low, below 10K, I'd still say the Aglet One Ghost is your go-to shoe. Use that. That's the best shoe you can be wearing at the moment available in the shop. Gold Aglet Picks, the Aglet One High GA and the Yeezy 950 Boot. They're both quite similar in what they can earn you. But with the Aglet One High GA, you can earn that Aglet in 14,000 less steps, but it will cost you 
40 more gold aglet. It's up to you to decide what's worth it. Spending a little bit more to earn it faster, or saving a bit more money. It's up to you. The Tiana Taylor questions are quite similar to the Turtle Doves. They're much better value than what's in the store at the moment, the Futurecraft 4D Prisms. And the Speed Trainer is a good budget option, but I wouldn't be rushing to pick it up. So yeah, basically, you just want to be getting the Fenty Slides. If you can't get those, keep on grinding on with your ghosts. Now annoyingly, I've got to head back home. I'm going to use that time to drop off my laptop because I don't actually need it with me anymore. And I also need to get my headphones and I'm going to head back off to the traffic center. Imagine if I actually drove with this on my steering wheel, like, ooh, ooh, oh, I'm hitting the windscreen. Ooh, we just got to run in, drop off the laptop. Ooh, I'm on less than half battery left on this as well. Nightmare. So it's been two hours since the drop. We've made it to the traffic center. And it seems on the Discord, another user has figured out how to work out what shoes earn. Lee Wiz, I see you. A few moments later. Two hours later. Spent all my money. I'm tired. Let's go hit these dead stock stations. For those who know Manchester, we're heading to Peel Park in Salford, a school which hopefully I can access. I'd imagine so because the devs put it there. And then finally, Presswich Cricket Club for the last tier one dead stock station. And then the rest I'll be hitting are tier two. I don't know if I can hit all of them because I don't actually have an awful lot of tier two shoes I need to repair. It's just my tier ones mainly because they are the big earners for me. As you can see here, I am the blue dot. There's not a lot around me. But if I switch over to Google Maps, there's a route of all the tier one dead stock stations. This is the route I'm gonna be taking all the way around Manchester. There's actually no tier one dead stock stations in Manchester. They're all in like little areas around it. In Presswich though, there is a tier two dead stock station right next to a tier one. So I figured I may as well hit them both at the same time, but that's the only tier two I'm actually gonna hit. I'm not gonna hit all 10. I haven't really got time. Either way, I've got an hour and a half driving ahead of me. Add walking time to that. Probably over two hours left until I get home. I need to cook. So we'll have to see. Anyway, let's get on with it. As if I didn't already spend enough today, I've got to pay another £2.50 to park here in an empty university, just so I can head over there and repair some shoes. This is a nice park, but it's eerily quiet. There's not a lot going on here, really. It's probably because uni's not on, but it could also have to do with the fact that there's a sign on the front saying no cycling, no skating, no ball games. What are you supposed to do in a park then? As you can see, it is a tier 1 dead stock station, so I am going to choose a tier 1 shoe. And I think it's going to have to be my off-white one Chicago's. Let's head over. Unlocked a treasure stash as well. That's it. Ooh, 500 I got. I'll take that. So we're here at the Joseph Brothers statue, checking in, repairing these Jordan 1s. In 1866, the River Irwell overflowed. That deep, I'd be drowning. I wonder how many more overpriced car parks I'm going to encounter today. Who knows? Let's head off to Presswich for a tier one and a tier two dead stock station. Trust Google Maps to take me to the wrong side of the train tracks, which are over there, life. I think this is my favorite tier one dead stock station in the game. Wow. Okay, so I found my way through. Here I am. Let's check in. MCAs, Tiffany Dunks, which do I go for? MCAs. Let's make these bad boys shiny again. No more repairs left on these. Back into the white off white ones and onto the final dead stock station. Not final dead stock station. We're hitting a tier two, then the final dead stock station, which is a tier one, then we're going home. I'm hoping that square there is parking. We'll have to see. So I was right. As you can see, it is a car park, but I've just got to go a little bit more, so out we go. Gonna head down here where it's a little bit quieter and check into this dead stock station. I'm a bit torn on what tier twos I want to repair. I feel like it should be these, the salmon toes, my rewards. So I'm gonna do that, because they're a shoe that I don't really mind wearing again, so I kind of want to have them on full health. So let's go, 100% repaired, one repair remaining. Now the off-white, white Jordan 1s get back on my feet, and off we go to the final dead stock station. There is also this one over here in Oldham, but it's just too far out my way, so I'm not gonna hit it today. I don't really need to either, so it's all good. I'll tell you one thing though, I am discovering a lot more of the north side of Manchester today. I never come here. I never have a reason to, but Dave has gone and placed all these dead stock stations in the north of Manchester, so here we are. Now, knowing schools in England, this next place, I'm not going to have anywhere to park nearby. It'll just have those yellow zigzags all along where it's illegal to park, so if you have a dead stock station or a stash at a school, don't be doing that. Just get out of your car. It's a moment of truth. Have I found a good parking spot? I've got to be right on it, surely. Be at this location. That's so frustrating. Literally the sign for the school is there, but I've got to get out in the rain. I guess we're heading out.
We're all sorted, all repairs used. Let's whack on these off-white, white Jordan 1s for the final time today and head home. I very much doubt I'll ever venture this far again for a Deadstock station since I have King DS in my town. Off home we go. Tell you something, it has been a long day. Like, I used to drive that every day for work. Not anymore. I'm gonna head back inside, check out how the drop is done and give you actually a more detailed look on it than I gave you before. Because I kind of just rushed it because I had a lot to do today, but I think we're all good now. I didn't realize before that I hadn't put in the cost of dead stock for the shoes that released today. So I need to fix that and re-update everything. I'm gonna bring stuff in from outside, then we'll talk about it. So with Aglet Sneaker Shine, the best shoe for you to get is the Fenty Slides, like I said before. So my workings earlier on may have been wrong, but it still stands that the Fenty Slides are still the best pair to get from this drop when using Sneaker Shine. The Fenty Slides are the sixth best shoe to use in the history of the game using Sneaker Shine, so I definitely recommend getting on them. The Fenty Slides earn you just under 13,000 aglets. The next highest shoe from this drop is nowhere near. It's the Adidas Falcon Ferrucci, earning you a measly 1.5k aglet profit. I haven't actually checked if these are sold out yet. I'm gonna have a look. Somehow the Fenty Slides aren't sold out yet and I have no idea how. You literally cannot get a better shoe to wear in the shop at the moment. And the total possible profit from the Fenty Slides is over 28,000 aglets. Once again, tier three dead stocks, they're everywhere really. I'd recommend picking up the Fenty Slides and dead stocking them. The Walk and Dior Cottons, yeah, if the Fenty Slides sell out, then these are a good option. The total possible profit from them is over 13,000 Agla, but you do need that tier two dead stock station. Keep that in mind if you're purchasing these. It's a good thing you can see now what your local dead stock stations are, isn't it? Lovely update. Now I had some people in the Discord asking about the Night Joggers and they are profitable when you dead stock. And they are also profitable if you use Sneaker Shine, but barely, I would not recommend Sneaker Shine with them they only get you 500 aglet in profit dead stock in the night joggers though that'll get you over 6,000 aglet in profit so i think you know what you need to do i might make a new video showing how earning aglet actually works because there seems to be confusion in the discord about it with new players so if you want that just let me know i'll make a whole video just dedicated to it and i'll see you in a bit peace <laughs>